a ziggurat hidden in the desert. Every brick carved with secret words and a stairway that only the chosen could climb. For over 3,000 years it stood silent, untouched and unexplained. This is Choga Zambil, one of the few surviving ziggurats outside Mesopotamia and the best preserved one in the world. Built around 1250 BCE by King Untashnapirisha, this was no ordinary temple. It was a cosmic city, a sanctuary dedicated to the most powerful gods of the Elamite world, King Untashnapirisha. Constructed with over 5 million mud bricks, this pyramid rose up to five stories tall, a colossal spiritual structure. Many of the bricks were stamped with the king's name and dedications to the gods. Each brick was more than building material, it was a prayer. A coded offering to the divine, Choga Zanbil wasn't just tall, it was structured by rank. The higher you went, the closer to the gods, and the more elite you had to be. Ordinary people could pray from the lower platforms, priests climbed higher, only the highest ranking religious elite were allowed on the upper levels, near the sacred shrine at the summit. The ziggurat originally measured 100 meters on each side and about 53 meters in height in five levels and was crowned with a temple. The main entrance and central staircase align perfectly with the sunrise on the winter solstice, the shortest day of the year, a celestial event encoded in architecture, a cosmic clock of clay and devotion. The entire complex was surrounded by a massive wall, more than a kilometer long, making it a forbidden city. The ziggurat was the sacred heart, sealed off from the public, guarded for the gods. Beneath its spiritual grandeur was remarkable engineering. The Elamites built vertical drainage systems to handle rainfall, used kiln-fired bricks for durability, and arranged every layer with geometrical precision. The outer walls were covered in geometric designs, animal motifs, and divine inscriptions. Not merely decoration, each symbol held religious power. This city temple honored gods like Inshushinak, protector of the city of Susa, and Napirisha, god of the mountains and all creation. Choga Zanbil wasn't a monument, it was a living altar, a place to connect with divine forces. The Elamites were one of the oldest civilizations on earth, predating the Persians by over a thousand years. They ruled from cities like Susa and Anshan, spoke a unique language unrelated to any other, and left behind a legacy buried under centuries of silence. Despite its scale and beauty, Choga Zambil was never finished. Historians believe it was abandoned after an Assyrian invasion, but the truth remains uncertain. Why did they stop building? What rituals happened on those upper floors? What secrets were carried up to the gods and never brought back?